Hi, I'm Dr. Pramila Naidu, a pediatric dentist. I run an exclusive dental clinic for children by the name Small Bites. And here I have collected few short videos on various dental treatments available for children and how to go about it. This would not only help clear all your doubts, it would also help chase away your apprehension. Thank you. Hi, today we are going to speak about pulpectomy or what is also called as milk tooth root canal treatment. So for that first we need to understand about the tooth. There is a crown part for the tooth and there is a root part. Now if you see the crown that is divided into three layers. There is your enamel, dentine and pulp. Enamel is the hardest part of the tooth which protects the tooth. Then there is dentine which causes the sensitivity because it has a little bit of nerves uh, innervation. Then comes the pulp. So pulpectomy is basically required when the infection or the cavity has crossed through your enamel, crossed through your dentine and reached the pulp. So what happens? The bacteria have free access into the root and sometimes even beyond. So when we do a procedure called as pulpectomy, what we do is we clean the cavity first and then with our very fine instruments called as the dental file, we clean the tooth up to the root. The infected pulp is removed and then we fill it with an antibiotic paste which most likely would be calcium hydroxide paste or some other antibiotic paste like that. So what do we do with this procedure pulpectomy or why do we actually need to do this procedure is to make sure that the milk tooth is without infection till the new tooth can take its place. It's very important to maintain the milk tooth in its position in a healthy and a functional condition till the new tooth can take its place. So basically this whole procedure of pulpectomy or milk tooth root canal treatment helps us achieve that.